Hey everyone, Pradam here, and today I want to take a look at gaming on Linux in 4K. Is it worth doing? Is it worth upgrading for? Well, let's take a look at it. Over the last couple weeks, I've actually been playing around with 4K gaming. I bought a couple of LG 4K monitors, and mostly for work-related stuff and video editing, but since I game, I had to see how well it would work. So I'm going to take four games and do clips of them Two of them I'll do 1080 and 4K, and then the last two will just be 4K. And you can kind of get an idea of what 4K gaming is like on Linux. Now I do want to point out that using OBS to capture the video was a little difficult. Capturing 4K right now doesn't seem to work very well if you're capturing on the same computer that you're playing on. I've read that it's best for 4K to have a second rig for doing that. Well, I don't have a second rig. So you're going to see some screen tearing in tearing in the games and a couple of the games, but I did not experience that in the game. Anyways, let's get to it. Thank you. 
So my overall opinion is that 4K gaming in Linux, if you have the right equipment, is viable. If you currently have a system that does 1080p and you get great frame rates, I don't think it's worth the money that you'd have to invest to get great frame rates in 4K. A lot of games will run 30 to 60 frames per second at 4K on a GTX 1070, which is a really decent card. To get better than that, you'll probably have to go to a 1080 or a 1080 Ti or maybe SLI. And SLI doesn't even work that well in Linux from what I understand. I'm not even sure if it's supported. I've never tried it. So if you have really low end equipment and you're thinking about upgrading, go with higher end. You, you know, future proof your machine. Get the 1070, uh, get a higher end CPU, uh, as much RAM as you can afford. 16 gigs of RAM minimum. My system here that I did these tests on is an i7 50 something hundred, I forget, the six core i7. And I'm running 32 gigs of RAM and I'm running a GTX 1070. And most games are playable. The Out of the ones that we just looked at, the one I felt that was not playable at 4K was Rust. Rust tends to really bog down your system. And at 4K, I could get 30 frames per second, but once anything starts happening in the game, uh, multiple people on the screen, animals, any kind of combat, I've had the frame rate drop down to 15 frames per second, and that's unplayable in a game where you need to be twitch action, you need to be quick on your finger, on your, on your fingers to shoot. So Rust, to me, I drop it down to 1080p when I play it. And even Rust at 4K at the lowest settings just was not doable. It's just painful. Um, Shadows of Mordor played great at 4K. There was some tearing, tearing in the video, but on my end playing the game, even while recording, it was smooth and just ran great. Uh, Minecraft, anything can run Minecraft. I can play on a Raspberry Pi. So that didn't surprise me, but I just wanted to throw that up there because it's one of the games I play. Um, Micro Machines, in order to in record it without a lot of screen tearing, I had to turn VSync on and that locked the frames at 30 frames per second, which is totally playable for that game. I would probably continue to leave that setting on if I was going to play at 4K, which I do play it at 4K. It plays great. The game is not that intensive. Other games that I've played that I don't, ha I didn't put clips in here are like Left 4 Dead 2. Um, I got a solid 60 frames per second at 4K on that, which surprised me. I didn't get a chance to try Borderlands 2 because the last patch broke it for me, but I have a feeling it'll play fine. Um, Ark, same issues as Rust. I had to cut down the quality to play it. Um, I think those are the only games I've played. Oh, and Golf with Friends. That's another game that'll play at 4K just fine. So the nice thing about it is 4K is the exact same aspect ratio as 1080p. So if you're running the game in full screen, you can tell it to run at 1080p and it'll run at 1080p frame rates. I happen to save one of my 1080p monitors so I just drag stuff over to that monitor whenever it's having problems with 4k and adjust the resolution and play over there um, I'm now running a three monitor setup just so I can have a 1080p display for gaming so that works for me some people may not like it but I think it's worth doing if you can afford it if it's a small upgrade so if you're going from a GTX 980 or a GTX 970, I wouldn't, if you want 4K, I wouldn't bother with that type of an upgrade. That's still a good card. Um, 4K gaming is probably in the future, and cards, eventually you'll be able to do single cards 4K with no problem, but right now I think it's just kind of iffy, unless you go with the really high end, and you know, the 1080 Ti is probably the best card right now, and it's I think last time I checked was 900 bucks, so I don't know if it's worth the money. But I do want to say that games that support the 4K look really good, and that's there's no lie there. 4K looks beautiful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please like and subscribe and share. And I hope you have a great night. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.